These are the things that destroy your raft, in case you didn't know. And for the size of the animal, you'd think they'd be a lot tougher than they are. Oh, shit. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go under the sea and uh, start looking for some, some sea tames. Megalodons and Basilosaurus are our two main uh, targets, but uh, we will... Uh, potentially take other things too. Um, so I've got all my my current sea saddles uh, in here that I've just found in drops. We got an absolutely phantasmagorical basilosaur saddle. Um, but I think what I'll do for stars we'll, is we'll take the lesser one, and then let's see. We've got a really good donkey saddle. Uh, we got a really good ichthy saddle. Let's grab that, and we got a decent. Megalodon saddle and a decent please. Well, you know what? I'm not. I probably won't get a pleasy at all unless we really find, you know, like a max level or something. Um, so we're just gonna take those with us. Uh, I got 40 exceptional kibble, which I believe will cover uh, cover anything in the sea. Uh, it'll definitely cover basilosaurs and megalodons. In fact, megalodons actually only need superior, but I've got so many so many eggs now it's ridiculous. Um, so we're just taking 40 of those with us, and uh, I got my scuba gear. I went up to the volcano uh, to farm up some metal uh, for the sea base. And oh, yeah, I guess I should show this to you. Huh? Duh. <laughs> okay, so with the sea base, we have uh, this little um, kind of dock area here. I've got the uh, trough here, uh, which covers the entire area. Um, down under the water there, I have an intake, uh, water intake, and then I have another one underneath the dock. Uh, and that's so that the four platforms that I have set up in each corner with Plant Species X, which are still growing, um, are, are just automatically irrigated. Probably with as much as it rains around here, the rain would cover it, but um, you know, they're cheap to make, so I figured I'd just do that uh, to get that going. Over here, we've got ourselves fabricator, refrigerator, um, refining forge, campfire, what are these, uh, mortar and pestle, smithy. And then up here, I've got a couple of beds and a generator, okay? And then I just kind of built a little enclosure uh, for those things. And that's pretty much it. So this is not a very large uh, sea base. We may have to expand it later, uh, but it'll certainly get us started. It, it looks big, but trust me, when you start getting a few bassies and big megalodons and stuff in here, it gets crowded really quick. But it, like I said, it'll get us started, and then if we decide we need more expansion later um I'll, I'll worry about that when the time comes um all right so i think i think that's all i need to get you guys caught up on so we are gonna take our berries with us for our first foray into the sea um i'm not planning on using them all the time for this but it's all i have for the moment and with all of them together with us we'll, we'll be just fine but once we get our basilosaur and our megalodon um you know pack going then then we'll be at we'll be just fine with that sort of thing okay so let's uh put these saddles on to you because you're really heavy uh, or i'm really heavy rather with those on and we're just gonna have all of our our guys follow us where we want to get you up to seven thousand health and here let's put Let's put these. I don't want to put the tank on until I, I absolutely need to, just because it starts taking its durability down. Um, we'll get you. Whoops. We're already at seven thousand, so we'll start working on your melee. All right. Want you to follow me. Soldier one. We just looked at soldier one, right? Uh, barista. You don't have any levels. You're getting close to being maxed out, anyways. So, yeah, I, whoops. So it's the four baryonics that we're taking with us. This other one is... Oh, did you get... Do we have all three of them there? Yeah, okay, it's kind of kind of hard to see for a second. All right, let's do this. I'm looking forward to this, this ought to be fun.
Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Um, I was out at the volcano and uh, just gathering some metal. Well, actually, on the way here, I, I found a yellow drop, and then after that, I went back to the volcano to get some metal by hand, and um, I found these items. So yeah, man, we got uh, we got a pretty decent blueprint for a Mastercraft uh, scuba tank, and we found this absolutely fantastic um, Ascendant pistol, which is just amazing. Um, so yeah, cool. So let's see here. I was going to say something else. Oh, and I, I also found a level 50 Quetz flying around the volcano too, which we may go after um, at some point in the very near future as well. Okay, let's take off here. And the name of the game is High Level Megs and Basilosaurus. Come on, guys, don't be stupid with your AI pathing. They're being stupid with their AI pathing. For Pete's sake, why the frick are they all going over in that corner when I'm over here? It makes no sense. Ugh. Okay, we're still missing Soldier 2. Are they getting stuck on the coral? I don't know. I swear, man, this is just not fun. Come over here. Can you at least follow me over here? Okay, that's a start. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Okay, let's see if we can get to that blue drop before it despawns. I, I think maybe part of the problem is indeed the coral. It is uh, it is a little problematic. Uh, yeah. Maybe that is exactly what it is. I think they're, I think they're trying, but with the with the coral, maybe it's just really jacking up the AI. That's probably what the deal is. Okay. That doesn't make it any less frustrating, though, mind you. All right, let's see if we can get to this before it despawns. All right, let's get back up to the, to the surface before I need air. Again, I want to... Hold. I, I do have an ascendant scuba tank, but even it'll wear out eventually. Okay, let's put you guys on neutral so you can take care of whatever's... Yeah, piranhas. Okay. Ah, all right. So, uh, what we're going to do is... Let's get back up to the surface for a second. Um, I'm going to set my shadows to high, uh, but I'm still having... A decent amount of frames here, so hopefully it won't be too bad. We'll see how it goes. It's probably just like all the water animation and everything that's really doing it. Wow. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Uh, let's put these on. It'll help us just... Okay, that, that helps. Uh, see, but it, it's back to being screwed up again it would we should not be able to see all the way out there i don't know what, what to do about it i really don't we're just gonna we got to get moving on this episode so screw it okay let's see what kind of megs we have that's a level 25 that is a 15 that means they're lunch
I do have also a, a pretty decent Manta saddle. Um, and Mantas are even faster than, um, than Ichthys, Ichthy, Ichthy, Ichthysaurus, or Ichthy something or others, the dolphin things. Okay, now we're kind of seeing the, I don't know, the shadow stuff. Okay, well, um... Let's just kind of stay in the general vicinity of our uh, base for the moment, and we'll just keep going further and further out until we find ourselves a decent level Meg or Bassy. I think what we'll do, at least for the moment, is when we start suffocating, we'll just throw our tank on really quick to recharge our air and then take it back off again. You are level 15. My goodness, what's up with all these low levels? Everybody's with me, right? Yeah, okay. You never know about these guys. We'll kill this one and then we'll... Well, actually, here, let's put a glass on that one right now. That's a level 25. We're gonna get plenty of fish meat, that's for sure, uh, which we need because I have so many um, baryonics at the base. We're we'll taking a big old load of fish meat back, then I won't have to go down to the river and get it all the time. What is uh? What's all the glowing stuff down here? Let's go check that out. It's kind of like a a little crevasse or something. I don't remember this in in uh, Survival Evolved. Oh, it's a jellyfish. Hmm. Look at how much that thing glows. Wow. Uh, we need we need some more um, biotoxin. I think I probably I should have enough creatures to kill that thing. I can't believe how much they glow. Wow. That's kind of cool, actually. And it makes it easier to spot them, too. That one almost seems like it's stuck. Can it get out of there? I want to say that one's stuck. Uh, nope. Okay. I, I, it just got out. I, well, did it? Yeah, okay. Okay. Send the guys after it. I want to stay away from it. For that reason alone. Uh, he still killed it. Or she, rather, still killed it, though. Okay, good. There's a Plessy. It is a 95. Nope. If we tame a Plessy at all, it's probably going to... It has to be at least 140 or higher, because I just... I don't really care much for him, to be honest with you. But, I mean, having a nice high-level one wouldn't be a bad thing. Especially since I got a really good sha um, saddle for it. Alright. I am trying to sort of watch the dolphins, because, again, if we find a really high-level one... Well, I like this... Um, I like the glow from these jellyfish, just because it makes it so much easier to, to see them. I'm, I'm a fan. And it looks too like they've changed it so they're not like in a big ginormous group that'll just completely eat your face. I like that idea too. Alright, go kill that jelly. Oh shit! That got us too. Oh, because we got an eel. All right, well, at least the eels don't dismount you, so I didn't even know those guys were coming. Bastards. Anglerfish. 
Might be fun to tame one of those just to get pearls and stuff. I think they're pretty fast too, if I remember right. Okay, I see the glow, but I don't see the jelly. Um, let's go ahead and give you some more melee. Where's the jelly at? Hmm. Is it stuck here? Let's send our guys over there and see what happens. Yeah, I, th I think I barely see it. Okay, we got it. <laughs> we'll get ourselves a nice little uh, supply of biotoxin, and then we can use the shocking darts. I've got a few already, but um, the jellyfish are not as plentiful as they used to be, which I'm okay with. Absolutely okay with, but they were definitely good for biotoxin. Okay, yeah, I kind of remember this area. Like, there's this big archway under the sea. Uh, we could certainly run into a Tuso or a Mosa down here. I'm not really worried about normal ones, but if we run into Alphas, that could be a, a bit of a challenge for us. Oh, I should probably take my guys with me, huh? You think that's a good idea? And you know what else we need should do is we should track him, too. Uh, all right. Where are you guys at? Here, let's just do a whistle. Yeah, I'm going to... Let's see. Water creatures. Why the frick don't they call Baryonyx water creatures? Uh, I guess I could favorite them. Okay. Okay. Let's just go back to here. We want soldier one and two. And we want barista. There. Let's favorite these guys too. That way we can just use them for that. And then um, we are on Barrymore. We'll, we'll track and favorite Barrymore as well. Okay, let's go back and get our our crew here. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's do this. Is Barista stuck? It seems to be, huh? Or, yeah. There we go. Okay. Any of these the sources high level? You're a level 40. You're a level 35. And I don't know where the other one went. Okay. You're a 95. That's a little higher, but still not high enough. Okay. Now we're all stuck in a cluster here. There we go. Okay, come on, guys. Let's do this. Stay passive for now. I love spending time in the sea in this game. Um, the Center and Ragnarok um, are two maps that have some of the best oceans in them, I think. Even better than the Islands Ocean. And here's the thing, too, you know. We're not going to be able to do ocean stuff again for a very long time after the island because there's no ocean in Scorched Earth. There's none in... Uh, whatchamacallit, Aberration, and there's none in Extinction. I think there is Ocean in Genesis. I haven't actually ever played Genesis, not even in Evolved. So, yeah, it's going to be a while before we're going to be able to do Ocean stuff again after we're done with the island. Okay, we've got a donkey here. It is uh, level 5. <laughs> 
No thanks. Okay. Um, let's keep going this direction. Are those bones? I don't know. That was weird. Okay, here's some Mosa. What level is it? Oh no, that's a Leopluridon. Okay. I know these guys are supposed to have some kind of magic thingamadoodle, but... Don't they, like, disappear or something? Yeah, they go into a whirlwind and disappear. I don't think I've ever tamed one of those things. Uh, alright, where's everybody else at? They didn't... He didn't, like, take my other tames away, did he? <laughs> They're over this way. Thank God for the tracking system in this game now, man. Can you imagine? We didn't have this. I'd be like, where the frick did they go? They're stuck in the coral. Yeah, I'm not so sure I'm a fan of this coral. Seems to be causing some problems. We should just make the shit um, with no collision. You guys all with me? Yes, you are. Okay. All right. Well, we're not seeing any uh, really a whole lot in the way of tameable creatures yet. Maybe we should go up closer to the surface. I think the megs are. We're gonna have a better luck with megs up closer than way down deep here. Uh, and the same thing for bassies too, really. The bassies don't... They don't like to go deep. What level are you? You are level... 25. Shit level. Alright, you guys stuck again? Of course you are. Because, like I said, this is Ark Survival Stuck Simulator. Oh, you know what would be good is to uh, look for some Eurypteids, but those are usually on the all the way on the bottom. I don't know that these are the best dinos to go after those, anyways. Okay, let's go. It looks like we have a... a mo no, I think those are all Dunkleys. Oh, no, that's a Bassie. Okay, there's a Bassie directly above us. Let's see what level it is. Okay, get out of the way. Check the donkeys too, because yeah, see he's just a level five. We need to kill him. What about this donkey? Level thirty-five. Also trash. Okay. Go after go after that one. Donkeys are actually very good harvesting creatures. They're one of the best creatures in the game for stone and metal, but of course you just have to get it under the sea. And they're very tanky too. They're like a really good creature to to tame a Tuso. All right. Here is the Basilosaur. Let's see what level we're looking at. We want something decent. It doesn't have to be max level, but it needs to be decent. 95? Hmm. Eh. I mean, I guess we could start with the 95. Um. Oh, there's two of them. What about you? 
You are a 15. Okay, that one we gotta kill for sure. Everybody go, go get it. You get a lot of oil from killing these things. And uh, also bup blubber, which we need for one of the boss, one of the bosses. Yep. Oh my god, look at that. 576 oil. We pissed off all these rays. Um I'm 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 on the I'm on the fence, guys, about the, the level 95. It's it's not terrible. We could certainly make it work, but I kind of wanted something a little bit better. Where the hell did it even go? <laughs> I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. I mean, it's not probably going to go anywhere, so we could, we could come back later if we don't find something better. Go kill that guy. Oh, did all of the rays from this one also come over and defend the other one? I think that's what just happened. Yeah, what the hell? Let's tame it. Might as well. Especially since we don't got to worry about the rays now. So it's going to take four in total. So if you guys have never seen this, basically you feed it, you wait for a while, you feed it, you wait for a while. It's a passive tame, basically. Um, so I will bring you guys back when the Bassy is finished. Got a leads here. Let's get some prime off of it, and then we're going to kill it, because I hate these things. Uh, oh, we're in the thingy. Uh, scrape meat. Wow, 50 prime meat. Wow, nice. Okay, everybody eat that thing. These are the things that destroy your raft, in case you didn't know. And for the size of the animal, you'd think they'd be a lot tougher than they are. Alright. Oh, shit! Okay. Um, I hope that's not a super high... Uh, I, mm, I can't tell what it is. Level 30, maybe, or something? A 60. Okay. Oh, nice. We wrecked him. Um, who killed it? I didn't catch it. All right, here. Wasn't... I didn't think we'd kill it that fast. My goodness, these guys are badass. Uh, here. We need to actually get back to the... Um... Our tame here pretty quick. It's about, probably about ready. Oh, you're the one that killed him. Okay. Well, we got the fins. And not super great loot, but it's okay, I guess. All right, Barrymore, where are you? Okay, let's get back to our tame, because it's got to be ready. Don't want to let it go for too long. Uh, it's so close that I'm just going to use prime meat for the last bite, so we don't um, waste a kibble. Not that that matters. I've got so many, so many eggs, <laughs> but still, you know. Oh, make sure you guys are all back on passive, just in case. And boom. We got ourselves a Bassy. And we're going to call it Bassy. Um, actually, here, let's call it Bassy. Maybe two S's. Yeah, Bassy. Right? Yeah. 
Is it the other one? Might have been, might have been Basie. I don't know. Okay, um, you should have our Basilosaur saddle. You do. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have tamed our very first Basilosaur in Ark Survival Ascended. And, you know, it was a 95, so not bad. If it would have been any lower than that, I probably would have let it go, but 95 is a respectable level. Okay, so we now have a true sea creature, though I have to say, these guys, these four berries are kicking ass and taking names. They they might not be bad critters to have as escorts. I just don't like to, to be um, on them in the sea because they're just a little bit hard to, you know, control, especially when you're trying to, what am I doing? I, I want you to go to high. Okay. They're a little they're a little bit hard to control in the sea. Mostly for, you know, diving and surfacing. But uh, there's no doubt about their capability. They actually absolutely shredded that level sixty megalodon after killing everything else. So, you know, we'll keep them with us as escorts until we get our, at least until we get our Megalodon back. Because remember, these berries are actually our cave dinos. Their, their job is to do caves, not to do undersea stuff directly. But let's uh, spend a little bit more time looking around now that we have the Bassy here. And uh, see if we can spot a nice make. I, I, I want to start, get started with the Megalodons. Let's also, now if we go to water creatures, let's favorite Bassy as well. Wait, are you, oh, it says reached maximum favorite count, okay. Okay, everybody stay passive for a second. I just wanna see what kind of levels we're dealing with here. That's a level 20. Let's get away from him for a second. I can't, um, okay, hold on. Can't get turned around good enough with those. Well, let's start biting. Anything that dies fast is low level. It's just a little too chaotic, I think, to... Yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing anything uh, of high level in here. What about you? Yeah, you're only level 20. Kill that guy. Oh, they did. <laughs> we got a level on the bass. It's 17,000 health just out of the box. Man, that's amazing. Uh, wait till we breed these guys and get an imprinted one. Then it's going to be unstoppable. Um, it's got really low melee, though. In fact, I'm just curious. Are, are we... We safe for a second here? I think so. I want to see what its stats are. So it's 31 health, 30 stam, 37 weight, and 20. Yeah, it's got it's got a really bad melee stat. But um, in fact, the only thing that's decent is the weight on it. But you know, it was only a 95, so it's a start. It's not likely I'll use it to breed. Um, okay, so let's get your health to 20,000, and then we're probably just going to pump melee for everything else, unless um, it becomes apparent that the stamina is not all that great. I might end up, you know, putting a few points into stam too, we'll just see. I really like the way underwater looks now. With, yeah, but with the shadow set to high like this. Uh, you can see better than you could in, in Survival Evolved, but it's still, you know, it's still not like crystal clear. And uh, I like it. I think it looks good. All right. What level are you, little icky guy? Level 95. Eh. 
Not quite good enough. Go away, or I'll eat you. What about you? 145. Okay. We need to tame that. Um, I think we just... These are passive tames too, right? Come here. Oh, we should have... Our basilisk or follow us. Oh, it is following us. Okay. Uh, all right. Where did the 145 go? That's not you, is it? Yeah, it is you. Okay. Do we just... I haven't tamed one of these in a long time. I think it's just a passive tame, right? We just give it some prime meat, maybe? Or fish? I don't know what it likes. Well, actually, here. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that when I have... Dotodex right here. This is an Ichthyosaurus. It does like raw prime. And a 145 will take four pieces in about three minutes. Is that you? Yes. Okay, let's swim towards this guy. Hold still. Give me a chance to catch up to you there, dude. Or dudette, rather. Man, I can't catch the stupid thing to feed it. These are passive tames, right? Pretty sure they are. I suppose we could try to knock it out and see if that works. Maybe they changed it for Ascended. I don't think this is the way you're supposed to do it. I'm probably going to kill the damn thing. Already pretty bloody. Let's check its uh, torpor. It's uh doesn't have any torpor. Okay, yeah, this can't be the way you do it. I just can't catch it, so I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do. Unless... We're supposed to trap it or something. All right. Well, you know what? Whatever. It's not that big a deal anyways. I'm not super interested in that right now. I just thought I would grab it since it was a 145, but not if it's going to be a pain in the ass. See, the thing is, is it seems to come towards me when I'm mounted. And then it stays there. No, you're a level 40. You're not the one I wanted to feed. Oh, so maybe that's what you have to do. Maybe you have to mount up, wait till, for it to come to you, and then jump off and feed it really quick. I don't know which one's which now. I think it's this one on the right, because it's kind of bluish colored. You're a... a, a tin. That's the 40 that I accidentally started beating. And you're you're a, a 10 as well. Okay, let's kill all of these. I almost wonder if the 145 buggered off. All right, there's a 140 meg. I think we're going to see if we can get that one. Now, can I sh I don't think I can shoot from the back of the bass, can I? No, but I can from the back of the berries. So, let's do this. Let's get away from this a little bit so I can change mounts. Uh, oh, shit. Is that... Are those eels? Yeah. Okay, well, we're not changing mounts yet. Not with the eels around. What are they doing so close to the surface? I don't remember ever seeing them be that close to the surface. That's a 55 Megalodon. That might be the 140 that they're attacking. Yeah, they... Okay, well, it was kind of hard to avoid with the big cluster we had here.
Kind of sucks, though. I just didn't want to be trying stuff with... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What level are you? That's a 95 man. I didn't want to be trying stuff with eels around. That is just foolhardy. Okay. I have decided to get this bass's stamina. We're going to just take it up to 2,000 and then everything else will go into melee. Because it... You know, if you travel for long enough, it does start to run out pretty quickly. Okay, here's another Basilosaur. Let's see what level it is. I'm surprised how deep down it is. We're not supposed to like the deep water so much. Level 80? Nah. That's just a little too low. fish. Okay, here comes a Plessy. It is a 140. Hmm. Do we want a 140 Plessy? Oh, shit. Never mind. We gotta take care of this. Doesn't even look like the alpha shark is attacking. At least it wasn't for a minute there. Okay, our berries are getting kind of bloody. I don't really want to lose them. But we're going to have to kill this guy no matter what. Okay, I think it's time to go home. Uh, I do not want to lose these berries. They're all fully imprinted. Well, except for Barista. I don't want to lose her, though, either. Now, that kind of sucks. I, I probably would have tried to get that Plessy. 140 is not bad, but it's okay. Um... Again, not a priority, really. You guys are coming, right? Okay. Yeah, they're they're pretty bloody. Let's uh let's get them back to the base. We'll get the uh, our uh, our piggy to heal them back up, and then we'll go back out and look for more. Okay, I'm going to. Jump off. Soldier 2, what the hell are you doing? Get over here. Get over here. Oh, you know what it's doing? It's going after fish to heal. That's what it's doing. Okay. Um, all right, where's the base? I want to clear out some coral, uh, at least on the path here. And I might even have to do like a, you know, set some foundations down to prevent it from respawning. I can't remove the, that kind of coral. But to this I can. Uh, or maybe I can't. Uh, are you hitting it or not? There we go. Okay. The stuff that's close to the gates should not respawn already. But I have a feeling like that's what was kind of screwing up their AI when we first tried to leave the base. Yeah, that's down a little deeper, so theoretically it should be okay. Let's get this stone out of here. stuck on the bassy here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is... This might be a bit of a problem. We might have to build the base out a little deeper or something. 
I'll, I'll do. I'll try and work with it as best as I can for the time being. But oh, come on, guys, get out of the way! I can't tell them to move with the comma key because then the critters inside the base will try and get out of the way too. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I don't know guys, this this might not work. I might have to do something different for our sea base. <sighs> okay. You guys stay put. Barrymore is stuck. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this coral. I really am not. Did not have any problems like this whatsoever in Evolved. But I think it's not just the coral. I think it's also their AI just being stupid. Because, see, they're trying to go through that door instead of figuring out that they can just path the other way. You know, it's like, come on. Okay, well, we got them back in. All right, guys. Well, uh, I think we're out of time for this episode here. What I'm going to do is keep taking these guys out and keep looking for bassies and megalodons. And I thought I already took you out. So I'm not sure exactly... Um, when I'll bring you back. Um, what I might do is just, you know, do some short clips of, of further tames. Um, because I just need to spend some time, you know, looking for them and taming. And for the most part, that it's a little bit tedious after a while. Uh, you saw how the Bassy was tamed, for those of you who may not have seen that before. Um, Megalodon is basically just a knockout tame. So knock it out, feed it dry meat or kibble or whatever, and it's a done deal. And you're stuck in the stairs. There we go. So, yeah. Um, not sure what we'll do when I do bring you back for the next episode. But we will probably... I'm, I'm thinking either Northeast Cave or the Lava Cave. That's kind of what, what I'm thinking. Um, but we'll just kind of see how things go. So, with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.